Being faster with the ball is basically two things. Improve your acceleration and or top speed with it. Deceleration is just for you to keep control of the ball more efficiently. But to go faster, you have to control the ball by accelerating and running at full speed. As I have already talked about the acceleration drive in detail in the video Master your speed with the ball, in this video we will only talk about the top speed drive. Then I'm going to give you an extremely simple exercise to work on this. If you haven't seen the video Master your speed with the ball, I advise you to go watch it to master the acceleration first. So, we will talk about the top speed drive which is your ability to control the ball when you go at maximum velocity. Being younger, around 15-16 years old, I used to ask myself how to run faster with the ball like guys like Messi, R9, who really run with the ball. When you watch them running with it, you can see clearly they go 100%. You can see it in relation to their arms that they are running at full speed as if they were without the ball. You can also see in relation to the other players that they are running very fast without knocking the ball too far ahead of them. So what's the secret? This is really something I wondered when I was younger. How they actually do it? How they manage to run at full speed with the ball and still keep control of it? It's like they are one with the ball. And when you watch them run, it's like they are without the ball, but they are with it. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And so I analyze the videos, I work on that. Today, I will give you all the steps that I think are important to be able to run at maximum speed with the ball, as if you were without it. The first step I would like to give you to run at maximum speed with the ball correctly would be to use the top of the foot when you touch the ball. First and foremost, the thing that I would like to clarify in relation to that is that this is not the toe, but the top of the foot. The top of the foot is the red part that you can see on your screen on your right hand side. I would like really to clarify that because if you drive the ball with the toe, you will not have the same results at all. This part allows you to drive the ball much more in a straight line than any other part of the foot and also it allows you to maximize your distance between your supporting foot and your driving foot. It is a part of the foot that few people are used to driving the ball with and it is not really known to be honest. I guess when you were younger, your coach taught you to drive the ball with the outside or the inside of the foot. But most of them, to drive the ball quickly, he probably told you to drive it with the outside of the foot. Because it is the easiest and most natural way, we will say, to be able to drive the ball in a straight line. And at the same time, go fast with it. However, your coach also taught you that because most likely he didn't know that you can also drive the ball with the top of your foot. And I know that driving the ball at maximum speed with the top of your foot rather than the outside is much more effective. Because when you drive your ball with the outside of your foot, you have to rotate your hip inwards to drive it in a straight line. Hence the fact that you lose speed slightly. It is not a huge difference. You will still be able to go super fast with it, but every detail counts. Compared to when you drive the ball with the top of the foot, you can clearly see on the screen that your hip is not rotating as much, which will result that you will be able to maximize your distance between your supporting foot and your driving foot, as well as allowing you to drive the ball in a straight line more efficiently and eventually enabling you to lose as less speed as possible. Again, the outside of the foot is still effective and if you have trouble driving your ball with the top of the foot and that you are really more familiar to the outside, then use it instead. But if you want to pay attention to every detail and you really want to go as fast as possible with the ball, then use the top of the foot. And as a reminder, in the video Master Your Speed with the Ball, I gave these two parts of the foot there for the acceleration drive and it is because when accelerating, you go slower with the ball. You often start your drive from a standing steel position or at slow speed. And so, in the event that you are not going extremely fast with the ball, it is not as important and the difference is not as great. But when you go at full speed with the ball, I personally think it is important and critical that you touch the ball with the top of your foot instead of the outside. The second step is to touch the ball as far from your standing foot as possible. And that is a tip that I've already given on the video of Leo Messi's basic of dribbling 
and also on master your speed with the ball and that I will give again in this video there but in reality it is essential that you touch the ball as far from your standing foot as possible and the reason why you do that as I explained in the two videos before that is that you want to take the biggest steps possible and by taking these bigger steps you will cover a lot more ground and by covering a lot more ground you will go faster last thing though notice the standing foot will naturally be in the air this is due to the fact of jumping on each touches to go faster if you watch the video on how to master your speed with the ball you should remember that i told you to use your standing foot to propel yourself forward well there you can see on each touch you do at maximum speed you will have to jump at the same time always focus on having the distance between the two being as great as possible the first step i would like to give you to drive the ball at top speed will be to touch it while you're extending your leg so as you have probably noticed having the maximum distance between your standing and driving foot while also touching it while you're extending your leg are the two main points that allow you to drive the ball whether in acceleration or at top speed and as you may have noticed also the driving of the ball in acceleration and at top speed are kind of similar with only minor differences so as i explained on the video master your speed with the ball this step is also important because it allows you to keep the ball always within reach or that it always allows you to keep it as close to you as possible depending on your speed so how does it work roughly to make it simple every time you touch the ball while extending your leg you can never give the ball as much force as when you touch it below your hip the force or power you are going to give to the ball will be always limited it's a bit complicated and if it's still a bit blurry for you watch the video master your speed with the ball and there i explain a little more depth as to why it happens if after watching this video is still confusing you can't do it or still don't understand let me know in the comment section below and i will try to explain it a little more in detail in a totally different video dedicated for that but to get back to the step number three touching the ball while extending your leg will allow you to always keep it within reach and change direction whenever you want the fourth and last step for you to drive the ball like Arnold and Co will be to not touch it on each step that you make to run at full speed with the ball you have to push it at a certain distance and then run after it with this drive you cannot touch the ball with every step like on the acceleration one because you will not maximize your speed if you look carefully in this example i run at full speed with the ball but i don't touch it on each step you can also observe leo messi or r9 when they run at full speed with the ball they don't touch it on every step too and the reason is simple your objective is to lose as little speed as possible and therefore to lose as little speed as possible you have to push the ball at a certain distance and then run after it the distance you push it at should never be too far ahead because otherwise you will lose control of the ball or too close either because you will have to touch it on your next step and therefore losing a bit of speed in the process which you don't want this distance should be ideal so that it can always remain within reach but at the same time that it takes several steps after each touch knowing how to drive the ball at maximum speed is also an important part of dribbling because i don't know if i said it before on the channel but driving the ball is also dribbling in itself when you know how to drive your ball perfectly sometimes you don't even need to use skills as for ben or messi <laughs> so yes mastering the top speed drive also allows you to become a much better dribbler i would nevertheless like to specify that of course it is something that you will rarely use most of the time in games you will use the acceleration or deceleration drives rather than the top speed one however it is always important to know to do and to be able to use if you need it so to summarize to be able to drive the ball at top speed with the ball correctly you must one drive the ball with the top of the foot two have the maximum distance between your driving foot and your standing foot three touch the ball while extending your leg and four touch the ball only when you need to so there you have it here are all the top speed drive steps 
analyze, learn and reproduce them so you can have control of the ball at full speed. Lastly, remember that the top speed drive should only be used when you have a line of defense in front of you or defenders and you can't really push the ball too far ahead of you. This is where it will be really efficient. But don't forget that if you have a lot of space ahead of you and the situation allows it, you should push the ball far away from your body to be able to run behind it. That will save you a lot of time. An exercise that I would like to give you to work on that would be the sprint. So the sprint is a fairly simple exercise that works your ball control in acceleration and at maximum speed. The exercise is as follows. You start from the goal line and you go as fast as possible to the center line. When you get to the middle of the pitch, you stop your ball. You will notice that as you start this exercise from a standing still position, you will work on your acceleration drive at first. And then, probably after 25 or 30 meters, as you reach your top speed, you will start working on that drive then. Once you have reached the center line and you stop the ball, it makes one repetition. You walk back slowly to the starting point and you go again for a total of 10 times. This exercise will allow you to get used to driving the ball, accelerating and running at full speed with it. And of course, also don't forget to assess and analyze after each rep if you did correctly all the steps that I gave you in this video. So put your boots on, try this exercise and let me know how it went.